Did you know that Adam and Eve were not the first humans created by God? God created humankind in his image, in the image of God he created him, male and female he created them. Genesis 1 27 TLV. According to the Bible, God created the heavens and the earth and everything in them, and then he created man in his own image. People think that Adam and Eve were the first to be created and that everyone on earth today is descended from them. But this is not true. In this video, we will look at the biblical and logical evidence that will reveal the truth. Let's begin. It will be recalled that Adam and Eve once lived in the Garden of Eden before they were expelled from it after they ate from the forbidden tree. If they had not sinned and eaten from the tree, they would still have remained in the garden. If we read the book of Genesis in verse 127, we will see that the Bible already described the creation of mankind, male and female, before the story of Adam and Eve. If Adam and Eve had not sinned and eaten from the forbidden tree, all their offspring would have been born in the Garden of Eden. Therefore, if they continued to reproduce, they would populate only the Garden of Eden, not the whole world. Now let's see what the Bible said after the creation of mankind. God blessed them and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the land, and conquer it. Rule over the fish of the sea, the flying creatures of the sky, and over every animal that crawls on the land. Genesis 1 28 TLV According to the Bible, God blessed mankind that he created, and he told them to fill the earth. Another word for land is earth. Many Bible translations use the word, earth, to describe this verse. If this instruction was given only to Adam and Eve, it would not make sense because Adam and Eve were preserved in the Garden of Eden. If they multiplied, they would fill only the garden, not the whole earth. Now, according to the Bible, Adam was created and was specifically placed in the Garden of Eden to cultivate and take care of it as we can see in Genesis 2.15. He was originally created without a woman with him. Eve was created after Adam named all the animals on earth. Genesis 1.28 says that God created male and female and blessed them to be fruitful and to subdue the earth. If it were only Adam, this blessing would have no meaning, because Adam cannot multiply and subdue the earth by himself. God blessed two people, a man and a woman. Humanity has several races. All living things have several species. They were all made on the same day, but they are all different. An apple tree cannot grow from the seed of a flower. The white race cannot give birth to the black race, and so on. So it is impossible for all races on earth to have originated only through the genes of Adam and Eve. Now let's talk about the children of Adam and Eve. In Genesis 4 1-2, Adam made love to his wife, Eve, and they bore Cain and Abel. At that time, Cain and Abel were the only children they had. Eve did not have another child until after Abel was killed. The third son's name was Seth. Before the birth of Seth, Cain killed his brother, Abel, out of envy and malice. After Cain killed Abel, God cursed Cain for his sin and wickedness against his brother. After God cursed Cain, Cain was afraid of being found and killed by people. Who are the people that could kill Cain? Remember, he only had his father and mother, Adam and Eve, because he killed his brother Abel. Some people will tell you that the people who could find Cain and kill are his other brothers and sisters. But if that were the case, wouldn't Cain say that his brothers and sisters or family could find him and kill him? Let's read from the Bible. Since you expelled me today from the face of the ground and I must be hidden from your presence, then I will be a restless wanderer on the earth. Anyone who finds me will kill me. But Adonai said to him, in that case, anyone who kills Cain is to be avenged seven times over. So Adonai put a mark on Cain, so that anyone who found him would not strike him down. Then Cain left Adonai's presence and dwelled in the land of wandering, east of Eden. Genesis 4 14-16 TLV If these people were Adam's family, God would speak to Adam and Eve and tell them not to harm Cain. God put a mark on Cain so that whoever found him would not kill him. These people are a people that already existed outside the Garden of Eden. After Eve gave birth to Seth. She glorified the name of God and considered Seth to be a replacement for Abel, who was killed. This proves that Eve did not have another child after Cain and Abel until she gave birth to Seth. And Seth was a man. Adam was intimate with his wife again. And she gave birth to a son and she named him Seth. For God has appointed me another seed in place of Abel, since Cain killed him. Genesis 4:25 TLV Cain had already married and fathered children before Eve gave birth to Seth. It also proves that Cain married an outsider who is not related to Adam and Eve, 